open to a few people that just asked him some questions but exactly yeah. we, all, we all had a bet we all had a bet that you were going to get taken in and get 10 years and we've all done our money so fucking hell you've let us down <laughs> how are you david, david like nice to see you i'm all good brother i'm all good but what's happened tonight no, you know. nervy, very nervy experience first of all i'm sure i speak for everybody and we're delighted that you came through and uh, that it wasn't worse than than it could have been and it you know you could put it down to coincidences and it, you could put it down to many different things but it did look like as i say you had three different units around you there and yeah. you know, it, it's hard to coordinate anything so coordinating three different units and what was also interesting it wasn't the traffic police that took the lead it was the armed units that took the lead exactly see what you've got to remember here is i know how to stand up to police you i'm not being well. intimidated i'm not being intimidated i've committed no harm no loss no injury yeah and i know my rights and i don't have to give my name like i kept explaining to them even though they kept saying we need your name i went no i said you need to understand you stopped me for a road road incident from where and how have you managed to get all this orchestrated that quick when I drove half up, half hour up the road from where I was in Maidstone to here? And you come from Maidstone and you've got the traffic people as well on the motorway, highway agency working with you, putting all cones out as well behind once you've done the, the hard stop. <clears throat> I've, got, I've got to say, as soon as I went on Facebook Live, because I couldn't do it straight away because I had to stop. But when I managed to get it and pull it out and go around and start videoing them, they all started pulling their masks up, hiding their faces, yeah. like bandits. And that's intimidating straight away. But it don't intimidate me, because like I said to them, God's watching this, what you're doing. And I've got nothing to worry right. about. Can I nope. ask you, Wayne, Wayne, did you see some of their numbers were hidden, weren't they? They tried to hide them, but I went round and got every single one of them. I saw, I saw that, but, but some of them were covered over, weren't they? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And, and, what, and what they... Go on, sorry. And what they tried to do was try and sort of uh, distract you, you know? But they never searched the car, brother, no, which I thought was quite that's, odd that's, as well. That's strange. That would normally be the first thing you do, have a look in. Yeah, and, but and they, they knew, I knew what, I, what they knew what I was doing, because I... The way they, the way they questioned me and I questioned them back, they didn't have an answer quick because I was saying no. I want to know why? What's going on? Where are you from? Yeah, you so know, they, they didn't expect me to be so clued up with what I know, how to stand up. Right, and then they wanted to just sort of like have idle chit chat with you whilst they were waiting exactly. for whatever was coming back. So they weren't in the know of what was going on, but they were quite happy yeah. to, you know do liaison, yeah. liaison with you. Did you notice that some of them had um, red numbers on their, like their numbers were red? It looked from, yeah, from what I was that's right. With. That's now, right, brother. Does that not signify um, that something? I know from, from, from my dealings they we've could, seen. They could be from a special unit, brother. They could be from London. They could, you don't know. And now right. they've put Kent, Kent badges on to make out they're all from Kent or Kent cars they've used. Right. I mean, I, I, so this isn't the gospel, but in my understanding, when we've seen, you know, people wearing red out there, they've normally been associated with um, City, City of London Police. That's right. That's right, brother. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, I, was I, thought, looking at I, thought... the car, I was looking at the car, see if there's any Met cars there. I didn't see none. Because where no. I stopped is out of their jurisdiction. I know all about stopping and where they've got to get, they can go into other jurisdictions and other counties if they're on a chase. But then they've right. got to hand it over. But they, uh, have to have a, they have to have a reason. They have to have a reason to stop it. So. Of course they do. Of course they do. In my, in my live, they cut it. I think they've got a jammer or something because they see right. I was on Facebook Live. Then they all started hiding their faces. See, they'll, they'll turn around and say, we just happen to be in the area. That's what they were saying. You know, yeah. There, yeah. there's a way. Of doing, and he was saying, yeah. you know, this is our favourite part of the job. We love to box cars in. The, we get the paid, white we get... hats are the traffic police guys, right. if you're not familiar with police forces. They've got all different sections. The white so, hats are for traffic. They deal with traffic incidents, accidents, stopping you, speeding. The other ones, armed police, deal with the bigger stuff, guys. And then you've got the police as well backing up. They all had tasers on them as well, guys. For me, so, for me. Well, my, my question is here, why not the traffic police? Why go through the effort of having, because it's not run of the mill, 
to Avon Police at a roadside stop. Exactly. So why why do you think? Why, intelligent, what, 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 listen, if you're in the police force, they do intelligence gathering. And what that basically is, if you're a threat or you're something, they know. I'm not a threat. I'm a peaceful, loving man down here. But at the well, same time, what they've done was an intimidation move. And it why, didn't intimidate me. Why do you think that they stopped you, not with the traffic police, but with armed police? What's your, what's your gut feeling? Well, probably... I don't know, brother, you know, maybe I speak my truths and I am who I am. I don't know. So do you think... <clears> I've, got no I've got no reason to be stopped for what? My car's all above board. They said that your, car, your car's all road legal. We've checked all your checks. Your tax, you're insured. I said everything's legal. So what's to stop for? I want to know. And then they're saying ro ro there's a road rage. I said, what road rage incident? Yeah. And there ain't no road rage incident. Why so, do I have a road rage incident? So this, is from, this is from higher up because the sergeant, yeah. even the sergeant there, didn't have a clue what was going on. He yeah. had to be back yeah. on the radio to talk back to base to get from their higher ups yeah. there. Yeah. Do but you I think said, there's a possibility? Is, is there a possibility that they could just have been in the area and it's come up on their screen and they've done that? Or do you think someone has... Can you tell it. me, how can you get that all collated that quick together within a half hour drive, brother? I can't see it's possible. I can't see it's that possible. it's possible. It's not possible. That's got to be planned and orchestrated. They've got but, to know their target. You cannot just go and do that. No. If it was a 9-9 call and there'd been an accident and there'd been people hurt, then That's you put, all the services would go into action on, their, very quickly. on police radios, they have a button. If an officer goes down, he press, presses the button, it's urgent assistance. And every officer in that area is called to that point. Right. That's what they've got. A lot of you don't understand, maybe. But on their radios, they've got a, a button they can press and it sends out urgent. You know? And then everyone's there. But right. this, they all turned up at the same time. Bang, 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 bang. Now, I think many of us have tried to call the police at different times, let's say, just in the last couple of years, um, and we found it difficult to get officers to attend. Maybe, mm. you, you know, I've had um, things happen at work, and I need to have an officer in attendance or a policeman, police person in attendance to take a report. Really, really hard, really hard. Do like when we try to ring and you know, report the crimes of the government to the police. Um, really, really hard to get any action. We've seen ourselves, you know, when we've gone down there, we don't get any action or in, in different cases, there are lots of people, they don't get that visit. You know, they've had a break in or something and it could take days. So for you to get such attention, um, as you say, on a half an hour drive, definitely is, is them putting some effort into it. Well, let me say, I told them tonight, and I said, God's watching what you've done tonight. And I even said to them, when I look in your eyes, your eyes are the windows to your soul. You better start telling the truth. Telling the truth, because the truth will out you if you don't. How do you feel? Does, no. this, make you, does this make you feel nervous? Brother, I'm not fearful of no man or woman down there. You see how I'm conducting myself with all that Excellent. intimidation. No, I was on one, one man against that lot, right? A lot of people will probably be fearful of what well, you've got to be fearful of. You've done nothing wrong. You're standing in your power. And yeah. let this be a lesson to a lot of you. If anything like this happens, video it, Facebook Live, straight out. They didn't like it when I put it out there. They're going, oh, you're on Facebook. I said, yeah. I said, this is being shared. Truth. Right. Now remember, you know, sisters and brothers, Wayne, when I first met Wayne, I was agitated by somebody, if you remember, outside Parliament there, who was having a pop at us. And you would come put your arm around me and say, come on, brother, we don't do it that way, we do it peacefully. Exactly, yeah. we've always been peaceful, always been peaceful. And I've always put this out. We don't go out and cause any harm, loss or injury to no one. We stand in we, our power. We show love to our brothers yeah, that's all we've ever called for. Peaceful, lawful yeah. and peaceful. Yeah. Reserving our right for self-defence. Mm -hmm. And the crimes that have been committed now, that have gone on now for two and a half years, 
that have gone yeah. and we can't say undetected because as you know the other day there was um it was the harvard harvard and um john hopkins university came out with the data that's shown i've seen it i've seen yeah, it brother yeah 98 times more chance of dying from the injections than from the virus itself which is yeah unbelievable yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but at the same time you've all got to stand in your power in this world no matter what happens we lost one of our brothers today out there yeah poor mike yeah i'm, I'm so sorry mike Oxgrave. Yeah. yeah yeah no jeff you know jeff? jeff one of the truthers on the movement who used to hold the board when we was on the marches you met jeff what did he one say what did, what did he say on the ball there were a lot of balls out there no, Jeff, Jeff what, brother, what, what, you're, not, what you're, not getting, you're not getting what I'm saying, brother. No, One Jeff, of our what, troopers. I'm saying, Jeff. yeah, what, what was on his board? What did he carry on the board? Um, I can't remember what he said now. He used to carry all different things written on it, brother. But right. he used to stand at Parliament. He used to go to a lot of events. A lot of people knew him. I met him okay, a few right. times. Lovely man. And he always Sorry. used to give him little badges as well. Right. You know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for him and his family. Yeah, yeah, it's sad. I mean, if you, I put a post up on my page earlier on today, a little um, message. But he was a lovely, beautiful soul, guys. And this is where we are. You know, we're going to have this with our brothers and sisters now. We're going to start losing a lot of our friends and family, and things are going to start happening, guys. But you just got to be truthful, no matter what happens in life. You got to stand in your power, and this is what it's about now. No more fear, guys know who you are you've got nothing to be fearful of if you've done no harm no loss no injury what you got to be fearful of okay and i told you when you're not fearful they become fearful of you because they know that you're standing for the truth and this is what we're in this world for we stand under god guys Amen. okay and no matter whatever the devil tries to do in this world we stand firm against him and his demons that's it that's it you know that's it we keep going then we keep going because there's nothing other than being yourself that you can be and that's it and and as i yeah. often say you know we all got to go one day and it's yeah. not it's not how you go it's how you live it's not the destination yeah. that's assured we know how the, the journey ends for each and every one of us but how we live is what's most important and mm -hmm. you know you, you you showed tonight to, what i saw you know you dealt with your not you didn't get angry you didn't get no there's no need to get angry there's no know. need to get angry or fearful you just got to stand in your power and i know it can be intimidating for a lot of you because a lot of you are probably get worried or fearful when you see a uniform but that you just got to look them as just the same as me and you they're just beings. doing the job guys human huh? beings got got to treat yeah, them and, that have, way. And, and they said you know we you know tonight and that you know we're sorry for what we've done you know that sergeant said to me i apologize for what's happened tonight i said well this is going to go higher i said because you know this is not right and i said also all that's involved here you know all the, all the numbers are going to be uh put in the report and yeah, i'm going to request you know, and i'm going to request your body footage cambridge uh footage of every one of you that filmed tonight because that's going to be evidence against you or what you've done right but from their point of view i would imagine that they've just been given um an assignment to go out on they don't have a clue you know they're they're the foot soldiers listen so. let me tell you something brother if you've got armed response going out on a on a job yeah they would do intel to find out what's going on because look what's happened in streatham with that guy yeah how much, in, how much intel do you think they would pass out to the people that are actually out in the, the front line troops they just go out they, they as you saw they have to they it had to go from the geezers that were talking to you to the sergeant to the radio probably from the radio to another headquarters somewhere there's a chain of command that's going on i think the people yeah. and, and, and what we've seen in the last two years when we're out on the streets the people yeah. that we deal with on the street they don't have a clue about what's no. going on and and it's meant to be no. that way they're, they're separated from the intel of the truth otherwise they wouldn't be able to do their jobs if they knew what was happening yeah but i mean this what they've done tonight is going to go in a bad light on them now 
because people are going to see the real truth here and think, what the hell is this about? Why? I, I, th I really do think that the, I mean, the, the biggest shock of it all is that the lead was done by people that were, and that there were armed police present. And even if yeah. it is, even if it is something that is, um, in their eyes, you know, road rage or whatever, yeah, you know, you got you got a criminal conviction for violence. No, no. So, to to even, it, it's you know, people are innocent until proven guilty. So a person without any form for any kind of violence to come out with that, it's definitely giving uh, a bigger message, bigger message. And you you took that, you dealt with it with a plum. And, and I think that they, who didn't know what really what it was all about out there as well, they dealt with you well. They didn't, they weren't harsh, they weren't aggressive with you, they weren't nasty, there was no threatening coming. The threatening came just by the fact that you had been... Do you know um, why they didn't do that, brother? Because they were on film, they were being filmed live on Facebook. Right. And also they didn't need to. The fact that they were wearing side arms was intimidating they didn't, they, they didn't need to. All of them armed with guns and tasers. And there's little old me just standing me grand. In me power. That's it. So can I ask you this question? Do you think had you not had your Facebook live on, would it have been yeah. a different outcome? Do you think it would have been a different outcome? Yeah. It might have well been, but you've always got to remember, guys, you've got a video. Anything anything like this, Facebook Live video. Because if you're normal video and they arrest you, that can be taken off your phone and wiped. As soon as you do a Facebook Live, it's out there. Remember that. Remember that. And the same for you, brother. Mm. If you're driving mm. to work and this happens, Facebook Live straight away. Get filming, no matter what they're saying. You've got the rights to hold your camera in your hand for it's your own safety. Until the point of arrest, yeah? Yep. Then yep. Oh, once, once that happens, you don't have the right for anything on you, do you? Well, they can take it away, but that's gone out. Your, your information's yeah. out there. People yeah. are watching it and sharing it. Yeah. And this is why you get backup copies. People copy it before Facebook remove it again. Well, I think the important thing to remember as well, for ourselves, we've only ever called and that's why i don't think that we've had that's why it's surprising that you would get a tug because we've only ever called for lawful and peaceful we've <laughs> you just you know, listen i've never called anybody to go out there and do violence and be angry i've always said be peaceful do it with love stand united and speak your truths that's all, that's what i say and stand under god that's it do you think do you think it would be naive to say that we can hope that it was just coincidence <laughs> nothing's a coincidence in this life brother right nothing everything's right. planned and ordained don't worry about that but the devil the devil tried his utmost tonight and believe me he didn't expect what he's going to expect but believe me i stood in my power and that's one thing that you all got to do guys well played. speak the truth well not played. be rude not be rude ask questions do not be intimidated but what they done tonight was way way and above for what what it was i believe was. And, and that that to me you know is like an intimidation and it's also um when they've a got warning. guns and that 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 can be uh daunting a, for a lot of you a warning it's a warning you know do you think they knew that you were going to be doing a facebook live so that, that do you think they wanted to see the image for people to then to be deterred by seeing something like that well when i went facebook live they pulled all their masks up which was uh, quite funny to see why would oh, you God. have to do that and hide your faces yeah what you what you got to hide like i said show your face huh yeah, yeah. Huh? show your face you know At the end of the day everyone in the world has got to understand do not live in fear no matter what the devil tries to throw at you down here you stand in your power you speak your truths and if you've done nothing wrong no arm no loss no injury you're a free man or woman amen
Amen. Amen. Wayne, Amen. I'm, running out, I'm running out of battery now. So that, no, that I'm going to go, brother. But thank you um, for, for giving us a call earlier on and seeing everyone. Okay, but thank yeah. you all of you guys we'll for you. you know watching it. But let this be a lesson for you all at the moment, guys. All of you. Facebook Live, any incident with the police, Facebook Live. Share it, get their body foot cameras, get the CAD numbers, get their badge numbers, and you, you've got your video backing up. Thank That's you for it. messaging me, Remis. Thank you for messaging me. Yeah. Who, who told yeah. me that you'd had the Rem, call. Remis is a beautiful soul, beautiful yeah. sister. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, well but, done, well done. And everybody, you know, if, if, as I say, we don't know what new world we're in at this moment. It's a whole new world from what it was last week with, with new prime ministers, new monarchs. and. Um, we know one thing's for sure that we're not there's nothing really happening from our end but that means there's a lot still going on from all these other ends and we've all been talking about october middle october up till november other escalations people talk about could this have been the 10 days of darkness that we've just been through the morning period you know there's a definite feel in the air when people are being arrested for you know saying shouting out prince andrew's a dirty old man um and charged when um the very person who was mm -hmm. guilty of the, those acts has never been charged for it you know th th there is a, a big discrepancy of inequality of what's going on all over the place we see that the new king won't pay any tax but we're all <coughs> paying everything that we do and everything is being increased and you know we, we'll start to see now even though people think that they've been given a, a great helping hand i'm seeing the shelves are really really getting very very scarce where i am people are reporting that the shelves are getting scarce where they are so it there's definitely it, it's up in the gear and people just you know just keep aware as wayne says keep in your own power keep being you Stand in your power. And that's Listen, it. Listen, you know, what have you got to be it. fearful for, guys? You stand in your own power. I've been telling you this. You've got to understand you've all got spiritual gifts down here. You don't even know that you have them. But you've got to stop being fearful because that's how you're controlled. When you're fearful, you say anything, 100%. you panic. You don't need to panic, guys. Remember. A wise man observes the battlefield. He don't rush in like a fool. Think before you speak, before you send out your mouth. What you're going to say? Ask questions. Mm -hmm. Question with a question. Get the numbers. If they got body foot cameras filming you. Ask the question why they haven't told you. You've got all the evidence. Put it together. Relate it and, together. And you've got the rules. The rules. They the must rules. tell you when they when they turn yeah. it on. They must tell you exactly they can't just film you without you knowing that's what and they you, tried to do tonight and you don't have to give your details until you've been told you that a crime's been committed you don't you don't and this is another thing if you've got any passengers and that they don't have to give their details if they've done nothing wrong yeah you know but that, you're standing that, in your power all of you and that's this, why they had to have the suspicion of <clears> something <throat> to stop you listen you honestly telling me that they done that tonight just got that lot together within half hour just like that to do that because they've had a report really no i think they want to let us know that they they're always watching and they just want to have a what's there to what what's there to watch brother the truth yeah and they they want to and we're not going to go we're not going to go away because we speak our truth we ain't they out will. here to cause any harm to our fellow brothers and sisters we're here for the truth. And if we've been lied to, and if there's been a crime committed, which there is in this world, by evil people, we're going to stand in our power. And we're going to keep pushing until the truth comes out. And you ain't going to shut none of us down. No, and they that's wanted it. to see how you'd react, and they wanted to see... Uh, well, they, they, they got my reaction tonight, brother. I, I was polite, but I was firm with my, with my words. And that you makes know? the difference. 